And as we mentioned earlier, Brundage Mountain opening as well as Tamarack today. Look at this blanket of snow falling just uh, ooh, about an hour and a half or so ago. It was still coming down as we had the daylight hour here and uh, just a beautiful blanket of snow. You see the crews out here working and they're working on all the slopes and everybody's going to be expanding slopes as we go through the next couple of days. I showed you Tamarack snow stake a little while ago. Here's the view from the mountain today and there's the, uh, the Tamarack Express and uh, lots of snow <laughs> again, three and a half feet of snow at Tamarack resort with more to come. How about this up to eight inches in the mountains with our new winter weather advisory for the Wednesday night Thursday storm coming in. Now for the Treasure Valley because colder air will be in play in place. We'll have snow through the entire Treasure Valley, but an advisory from the Ada Canyon County line eastward one to three inches with two to four inches in the foothills. That's what the Weather Service is expecting to come on in eastern portions of Oregon. A similar story one to three inches up to six inches in the mountains. I'm a little concerned as the storm system comes in that wind strong southeast wind ahead of this is going to dry out the lower atmosphere that down sloping that I've been talking about mountain lift. You also get the sinking on the opposite side of a mountain will dry us out for a little while, but eventually the snow will start to accumulate. In the meantime, the snow we had from today, eastern Idaho and boy, I'll tell you what Southern California is getting slammed. Reports of cars being washed down uh, a particular culvert in LA County as that system is system is bringing tremendous amounts of rain pushing inland, but that's the last edge of this initial atmospheric river that's been hitting us for days. It's now sliding to the east, but our next storm system. Look at this coming in from the north and west, a colder direction that heads in for the Treasure Valley, and this is the moisture right here that will get us with some snow Wednesday night into Thursday. Future cast shows this. We dry out overnight tonight coming in for the day tomorrow. We might actually see a glimpse of sunshine earlier in the day. Then the clouds increase and snow will hit the West Central Mountains early in the evening, late in the afternoon. This is 8 o'clock at night. I think finally the atmosphere will moisten up. When you have a strong southeast wind blowing in the Treasure Valley, it is very difficult to get snow to fall. But eventually it will start to fall when the wind starts to slacken a little bit. The two will coincide and eventually snow will move on in. So a two inch snow amounts for Thursday morning is a good possibility for the Treasure Valley. Snow could continue for a portion of the day on Thursday as well with snow showers on the mountains all the way through Friday. This computer chart shows only an inch and I'm starting to believe this one. So an inch to maybe two, one to three inches east of Boise towards Mountain Home with lesser amounts in the western part of the valley. Valley. The European co computer forecast has a little bit more snow, but still fairly consistent here as we would expect in the central mountains. We're talking up to eight inches in the mountains, as I mentioned, and then we're going to add even more snow over the next 10 days. So great news. Dry, fluffy snow is headed into the mountains, 18 to 23 inches of snow over the next 10 days. Here's that Treasure Valley forecast coming up for the day tomorrow. A little sunshine in the morning, maybe, and then clouds thickening during the day. It's going to feel like snow through the day. The wind will pick up. It's going to be a cold wind blowing, and temperatures will start to fall later on. Snow will start to accumulate as we go into the overnight hours, and that's when we have the best chance for getting snow accumulating in the Treasure Valley. A um, McCall again, snow late in the day, and just a partly cloudy day in the Sun Valley area, but very cold in the morning. Steady forecast right here. Watch out for slick spots tomorrow morning, potentially, but Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I've got one four inch totals. Those four inches will be up close to the foothills with upwards to two inches in the Boise area, maybe two to three east of Boise and one to two west. Over the weekend, there's a chance for some snow showers and colder low temperatures coming on in. It's getting a lot more wintry around the Treasure Valley.